Thank you all for coming. This is a beautiful day. That's right. Let me hear it. Yeah, let me hear it out there. Any day it's not five inches of snow is a beautiful day is my, in my, in my uh, playbook. Thank you for being here. Uh, we talked about some years ago about, about reestablishing and, and rediscovering pride on the South Side. And that is what's happening. And it is so important to the South Side and to the community that our own Mayor Artist is here and would like to say a few words to encourage us and keep us warm and dry. Mayor, come on down. <laughs> Thank you, Councilwoman. I'll tell you what, uh, with all the work that Councilwoman Moore is doing in the first district. You hardly need my encouragement because she's been doing such an awesome job and we thank her for that. But uh, amen is right. Um, let me just say that uh, as we continue to, to see works of art like this and murals in, in different areas of the city, uh, we've talked about how important it is to just to look at this and allow these neighborhoods to express themselves. And uh, you don't need me to interpret any of these, uh, these murals, but it really does feel, feel real good right here uh, when we're able to just step back and, and look at the love uh, that people have for their neighborhoods and, and for our community and to be able to express it uh, in, in ways like this. So on behalf of the city, uh, we are so excited to be here today to, uh, to uh, witness another kickoff of, uh, of another mural. Uh, we're very proud uh, of the south side. We're very proud of this neighborhood. Uh, we see uh, drastic improvements down here uh, and, and those are only gonna continue. And Councilwoman Moore is gonna make sure that uh, we keep our focus uh, on the importance of of the south side we're going to do that so thanks to everybody for being here today uh thank you to to the artists and to and to the people that contributed to this uh let's make sure that we give special attention and thanks to lisk uh for all that they're doing in the community as well thank you I'll be careful thank you mr mayor and i'm gonna tell you uh mr uh, mr artist mr mayor has been very supportive of all of my efforts down here so not, none of us can do this alone in our districts. We need the, the support of every member of the council and the mayor and the community. And so Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for always being here and supporting me. I really do appreciate it. Uh, next on our agenda, we're going to have you hear from me a little bit. So this is how this all got started. Where's Orlando? Orlando from TT's, are you out there? He's probably inside, oh, thank you. He's probably inside cooking, for, praying for all of us. Well, one of the many times I came down here, he would always look across his wall and say, you know, Denise, you know, it would be really nice to be able to look out there and see something out there that would encourage people. And so he was the reason we got this started. So I said, okay, well, let me, let me talk to some people and see what we can do. Well, naturally, LISC was there, and they're always the first to want to step up to help bring pride and economic development to the community. They talk about sense of place. And, and they talk about making sure that everybody is inclusive and understanding that we all are a part of this process. Uh, in fact, one of the images on the wall is of, of the uh, past president of the NAACP, Mr. John Gwynn. And I have something that his son has written, and I'll read it for you if you would allow me. Greetings and blessings, Mayor Artis, the Peoria City Council, the Greater Peoria List, the Heritage Ensemble, artist Ryan Rashad, fellow artist Brenda Gentry and fellow Peorians. We the children and the family of John and Corzetta Gwen are humbled and grateful for the recognition the city of Peoria is giving our father by presenting this historic mural. We truly appreciate that this gifted and thoughtful artist Ryan Rashad has chosen to honor our father's leadership, sacrifice and courage by including his image alongside other Peorians who have championed the cause of justice and equality for all. Like all of you, we remember John H. Gwynn Jr.'s strong commitment to the work of eliminating racial injustice in the city's schools, housing, public accommodation, and employment. His advocacy through rallies, marches, demonstrations, voter registration, drives, and other nonviolent activities was not only effective to achieve progress, but a model of leadership for those seeking equality and justice throughout Illinois. We regret that we are unable to attend this celebration in person, but please know that we are there in spirit and remain proud and reverent Peorians. We are touched by this honor and hopeful that John Gwynn's legacy continues to inspire community pride, leadership, and activism. Very truly yours, daughter, Carrie, Kathy Gwynn Jones, and son, John C. Gwynn, and the rest of the Gwynn family. 
we thank them for this acknowledgement of uh, their father being on this mural, and we appreciate them. Let's give them a hand, even though they're not here. Thank you. If you know me, you know I like to move things along and move it on time. So next we have coming up our own incomparable Michelle Sullivan from Caterpillar. Let's welcome Michelle. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here today. I am Michelle Sullivan, and I'm representing the local advisory board of the Greater Peoria West Office. And I want to take a moment to let everybody know what exactly this is and why did we invest in it and why is it so important to Peoria. This is a national organization that works in impoverished neighborhoods to make them sustainable communities. And in 2014 alone, they invested almost $1 billion across the U.S. in impoverished neighborhoods. They then leveraged that with $3 billion worth of investment. And we were, yeah. We, we were very fortunate three years ago that LISC agreed to open their first office in 15 years in Peoria. And this is part of the result of what you're seeing, among other things that are happening in the communities. And this mural is part of the creative placemaking program. And you think, why is that so important? And the others have touched on it. When you look behind you, doesn't it make the neighborhood look better? Doesn't it show what the neighborhood is about? The neighbors and the businesses are proud. It shows the diversity and who and what built this neighborhood. And we should be proud of that and we should celebrate it. So I want to thank everybody involved in this mural. And I want to thank the neighborhood also for supporting it because all of this work is meant for you because we want you to have the neighborhood that you want. And that's what LIST does. They listen to the residents in the neighborhood and we hear you and we are doing the work that you want so that the neighborhood is what you want and that you're proud of it. Thank you very much. Let's give Michelle another hand because she's been very instrumental in helping both the East Bluff and the South Side with their programming. Thank you. Uh, now on our agenda, the next we have uh, some co uh, comments from Jahan Gordon Booth, our representative Jahan Gordon Booth the hardest working woman in Illinois, as far as I'm concerned. Where is she? And you know, she's, I don't see her right now. You know why? Because she's working hard for you. That's why she's not here right now. If she was here, she would tell you that, that she is humbled, I'm sure, by the, her image being selected to be on the wall here. Uh, when talking with Rashad and, and Orlando and some others about who should be up there, you know, her name was first on the list because she has done so much for our community. She and her husband are just a, a, fire, a fire force in our community trying to keep things moving in a positive direction. So she's not here. I'm sure she's going to be running here in a minute, but we're going to give her a hand now and tell her we did it earlier. <laughs> Next coming up uh, is a gentleman that I've, I've, I've known for a little while through his parents. Uh, I've watched him grow up. And knowing his parents the way I do, it was, it was a, a no-brainer for me to want to, to think of him first when I was thinking of an artist that could fulfill Orlando's vision. And I wish some, somebody would get Orlando out of that kitchen. Um, but when Orlando started talking about the vision he had, I said, you know what, I know an artist in town. Um, his name is uh, R. Rashad Reed. And I think he would be the perfect person to come and talk with you to see if you can, he can put that vision on paper. And what I like to do is put people c together and get out of the way because God knows I got enough to do. And so I put Rashad in touch with Orlando and they started talking. There he is, Orlando, wave your hands out there. There he is. He was the one with the idea to, to do all of this. He and Orlando got together and talked about what the vision was, what Orlando thought he would like to see, and what people coming here would, would be able to appreciate. And Rashad was able to bring that together. So Rashad, if you could come up, come up and talk a little bit about uh, you and Brenda. 
uh, Rashad Hello, Rashad Ella, come on up. Uh, if you could come up and talk a little bit about your inspiration for the images you have there and give us some sense of why you selected some of the uh, symbols and that type of thing and thank whoever you think is appropriate, like your mom, Sharon Reed, who worked hard to make this happen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank everybody. First off, before we get started, I'd like to thank everybody here for coming out. I certainly uh, didn't expect this. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, can everybody hear me okay? Yep. I certainly didn't expect uh, this is going to turn out, especially even with uh, the weather as it's been and as it's going to be today. So in light of that, I will uh, try to be brief so that we can get to the great food that is uh, being provided by TT's Barbecue. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to thank all the previous people that spoke today. Councilman Denise Moore, Mayor Honors, uh, certainly an honor for the mayor to have the mayor, mayor artist to speak here with me today. And um, Mrs. Sullivan, certainly an honor to have you to speak uh, with us here today as well. Uh, and certainly an honor, I've heard so much of you uh, over the years, certainly an honor to get to uh, see you and hopefully get to meet you in person. I'd like to thank LIS, the LIS Foundation and the City of Peoria for funding this effort. I'd like to thank the Heritage Ensemble for uh, branching out and sponsoring this effort. I'd like to again thank Councilman Denise Moore for being an excellent advocate for both her district and for the arts. I'd like to thank Orlando at TT's Barbecue for having the original vision of let's put something on the wall and uh, putting that to the conference table to give a round of applause. I'd like to thank uh, Reverend Toombs, the building owner, the uh, local chapter of the, the Nation of Islam here for consenting to have an image on their wall. That was certainly not something that they had to do. I would like to thank the subjects of the mural, uh, Sean Livingston. We all, uh, and certainly if you were watching TV last night, you saw Yay. his excellent uh, off, uh, efforts that he began to develop at home here in Peoria, Illinois. <laughs> uh, Representative Jahan Gordon Booth. I'd like to thank her again, once again, for consenting to be in this. She's been a, a shining example of a young person that has uh, picked up the mantle of politics and has done a, an outstanding job in our community, and I, I continue to support her. We continue to support her. We continue to wish her well in her efforts, so we'd like to thank again Jahan Gordon Booth, as well as uh, Annie Jo Gordon and, Rev and uh, John Gwynn Jr. Uh, I mean, I, 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 so many people that were involved in this effort, I was thinking about this morning how when many years ago when I began my apprenticeship with Preston Jackson I, and I fell in love with creating art, I, I didn't realize how many people it would take in order to bring um, things to their, to bring projects to their fruition. And it's, it's uh, a group effort and a team effort. I wanted to make sure that I thank all the people involved. And I'm sure even when I get done, there'll be people that I leave out. So I don't want to be, I don't want to be rude. I want to thank everybody that's been involved. I want to also thank um, Angie. Now I'm going to say Angie O from uh, this guy because I won't uh, butcher her last name. Angie coordinated this effort and I, I, I am overjoyed by uh, the turnout that, that happened here today. Thank you, Angie. She's standing over here. And she's standing next to Brenda Gentry. Brenda Gentry, uh, if you'll notice, you'll see her signature on this uh, piece as well because she was very much a part of the execution of this piece. Let's give a round of applause for Brenda Gentry. And outstanding artists in her own right. We look forward to seeing more uh, public art efforts from her. And hopefully I can assist her on a project in the future. And, uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll do something just as good or probably even, uh, even better. I'd uh, like to thank my wife, Sikoni Reed, for uh, not only being my rock and my light, but for uh, having my son, Rashad, and consenting to have him to pose in this uh, mural. So I'd also like to thank my son, Rashad Reed. <laughs> last but not least, uh, come on up, bro, come on. <laughs> the, my, the lady that assisted me on this project is shy, but my son is not, as you can see. <laughs> I'd, uh, lastly, the people that I'd like to thank and be sure that I thank are the residents of the south side of Peoria. Because with your encouragement while I was creating this project, your appreciation as I created this project, we created this project, and the respect that you have shown to me and to us and this entire project, I will forevermore cherish. Thank you to the residents of the south side of Peoria. And then, uh, in closing, I'd like to say that, that uh, the, the turnout today is definitely an example that the arts are important to a society, to a community, on down to family and individuals. It's unfortunate that we're in a time when cuts to school day arts programs and after school arts programs are increasingly prevalent. 
We must emphasize the arts at this time as examples of excellence and heights to strive for. I'm deeply honored to be professionally called upon to provide such examples of these arts. And this is uh, hopefully one of the first offerings, and hopefully we'll be able to bring forth more in the future. So once again, I'd like to thank you all for coming out. God bless. We're about to close this down, but you have to indulge me for a few more moments. We got word that Jahan is on her way. She's running. She's speeding. Oh, no, I didn't say speeding. She is effing to get here as quickly as possible at the speed limit. So uh, I, I want to say this. This is not just an individual effort. Orlando, are you still out here, Orlando? He's, he's so shy, but I, the reason I keep mentioning his name is that it is important that each member of our community steps up and tries to be a part of growing our community and making it better than we, leaving it better than we found it. And Orlando was a part of that. He didn't have to have the ideas that he had. Orlando, come up here. I want people to know who you are because, you know, this, you started all of this. Your, your conversation started all of this. And if you can just give us a minute or two of, of why you felt this was so important. Well, glad to see everybody come out today. And the reason I have this idea because the young kids need somebody else to look up to, you know what I'm saying? And people just come up like John Livingston and John Gordon. They live in this neighborhood, you know what I mean? If the kids see them make it, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they get ideas in their head, they can do it. So anything is possible, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I had the idea. And Denise, she helped me bring it to life, you know? And I just want to thank everybody for coming. people who are here. We have folks from the Park District. We have uh, Robert Johnson, a, a, a Park District board member. We have Martha Ross, a, 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 Peoria Park, a Peoria School District board member. We have, who else is here? Raise your hand. Everybody is somebody, so everybody's here. Oh, Jahan's here. Come on, Jahan. Come on down. I just been doing this all shoot you got here, sweetie. <laughs> Time. Good afternoon. Wow, this is such a beautiful crowd. I am so, oh God, I don't want to cry. Those of you who don't need to know I'm a crybaby. Um, to, to have the ability to, to stand here and um, see my mom and John Gwynn, who, you know, I went to Cozy's daycare. You know, that's where I was, that's where I was reared. And the love that those individuals, my mother and Pope John Gwynn, and many of you that are here today, um, the love that you have for this community and for the people of this place gives all of us a great deal of pride that we carry every single day. I was looking back over some of the articles written by the Journal Star um, all the way back to 63, when a lot of the work that some of you that I see out here were involved in that allowed somebody like myself to have the ability to do what it is that I do so that my face can be on a wall like this. It is amazing. And I am so, so grateful. And when I think about the issues that we're fighting for in Springfield and the people that we're fighting for, and sometimes at times like this when you're dealing with folks like, like we're dealing with right now, it feels like it's almost insurmountable until you reread history and you read about the things that people did accomplish amongst far greater circumstances. So I know that we, if we continue to work together, because when I read about the things that John Will was working on in the business community, working with the civil rights community, working with the school board, working with everybody, we all came together to accomplish these goals. And we still have a long way to go. And the only way that we're gonna get there is if we do it together. And so I know just looking at this beautiful crowd this afternoon, we can still do the things that we need to do, but we have to do it together. And not to take anything away from anybody else on this wall, but Sean Livingston, did anybody see that game last night? How proud were you to see Sean Livingston in the second quarter score 16 points and rally Golden State to a victory? You know, I live in a basketball household, so <laughs> it doesn't have to be a Peoria boy, but when uh, a good game like that is on, there's always lots of, yeah, and those kinds of 
those kinds of noises coming from Derek's uh, man cave downstairs. But with that being said, I am so proud, and, and more than anything, to see the young people, not just my daughter, but the other young people that are here today, they have so much to look forward to, to aspire to. We can't listen to what, the, what sometimes uh, certain branches of the media tell us about what it is that can happen for young people, no matter where it is they come from, no matter what zip code they come from, they can achieve and they will achieve. But again, we will all do it together. Yeah. by saying that uh, looking at Ryan and looking at his son, we have to realize that uh, Rashad is a professional artist. Oftentimes art and the artists do not get the appreciation that they deserve. All too often uh, we, we sometimes or others sometimes want to cheapen what their product is. Even though their product is awesome and amazing, we, try, we want to get it for free. Can you do it for free? Well, no, you can't do it for free. So I just want to leave you with this. Appreciate the arts. The arts are more than just what you see on the wall, but it's coming from the inside of a person, the creativity that makes them who they are. It, and pay them what they're worth. And, and the last thing I'll say, I, I see a lot of people here from, uh, a lot of gentlemen from the Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated. I want to thank you for all you do. You've always supported me in everything I've done, in every venture. And I want to just shout out a thanks to you guys. I appreciate it. Now. There's some food out here, I, I'm told, and we're going to eat really good here. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Mayor Artis. I appreciate you being here and all of you. Thank you.